All right, so the other day I posted on Facebook about um, a solution I found in helping to track sales. So I use um, Google Analytics for, for the most part, every property that I run traffic to. And so, and most of these properties I'm driving traffic through various different advertising platforms, uh, Google, you know, YouTube, um, Bing, Facebook, uh, Perfect Audience, and so what we, uh, what always the challenge is is to is to attribute as much tr sales back to a campaign or even to an ad group or a keyword or a placement. So we, what we want is to is to to make our uh, reporting as accurate as possible. And so often the challenge is with, you know, different platforms is actually getting, you know, from the time they come in to like a store and then they check out or through a funnel and they check out and getting, making sure that we're getting the attribution to the campaign and the ad group and, and so forth, or ad set. So, um, uh, primarily, I mean, I run traffic from lots, like I said, a lot of different places, but in uh, analytics is kind of my go-to place to, um, to, to where I can see where, like, like all of my, uh, everything, how everything is working, and, um, and I want to make sure that I can track it in here. So, Without uh, spending too much more time, what one of the things I want to first show is make sure that uh, we're all on the same page about what's called UTM, and let me let me um, type that in here. Okay, so you can hear me use this word a lot. UTM, and so essentially these are. Uh, this is tracking tags that go along with the click from a platform. So, you know, for example, in um, uh, in Facebook, if I click on an ad, and I'm going to click on this ad right now, and I and I'm going to assume I haven't I haven't clicked on this yet, but I'm assuming that they're going to have some sort of tracking tag. So let's just take a look. I'm gonna we'll see. Okay, so here we are. And so you see the URL here. Let me see if I can make this all big. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna make this bigger. But you could see. I'm gonna copy this out just so we can dissect it. So I'm gonna copy the URL. And many of you, if you're not familiar with this, uh, this is the UTM, and it's all the the UTM starts or the any tags or start at you know at the at this this place when the the um, question mark shows up so i'm going to grab this whole thing and we're going to kind of dissect this so we're all on the same place once we get to the configuration of cookie tracking of UP, utm okay so control a i'm going to grab this control c and i'm going to go to my to this right here and I'm going to make some room for this. And I'm going to make it smaller so I know it's going to fit. So let's move it to there. So let's try this. OK, so here is the URL. And I'm going to remove the link from this. So let's dissect this. So right here is the, the website. Okay, and everything else in here is UTM. Uh, and oh, well, actually, we'll go through this one by one. Um, UTM source. That's let's let's take this one by one. That's the um, where the traffic is coming from, and this is a tag. So, so the, whoever this marketer is from this URL, they can track. Okay, if they make a sale. And it's going to have this tag to it, so then they'll know where that sale came from. And let's do the next one. And they are using the medium UTM. U, there's here's UTM source. The first one always has an, a question mark. 
and then all the subsequent tags will have the um, the and symbol. Okay, so UTM Medium is Facebook desktop feed. So this is an ad that's only going to desktops. All right, so that way they can track. They'll have they may have multiple ads going to Facebook. They'll probably have one for face for desktop and for you know mobile devices and tablets, or probably just desktop and mobile. And that way they can track, you know, which one is is converting better. Okay, so here's the next one. Let's take a look how see where this goes out here. And this one's kind of a long one, so we're going to split this one out right here. Okay, so this here's the first one is source medium campaign. So this is the name of the campaign, and. And this is it's the campaign name is TOL Masterclass Registrations Tests Con Conversions is probably Conversion Campaign. Oh here, oh I missed this one. Okay, here we go. So UTM it's a can it's a conversion campaign, and so source medium campaign content. So these are typically the uh, the the ones that we're gonna we see on. These are like the four standard ones that, and there's a couple others, but these are almost in every campaign that you'll see. And you can, if you've never seen this before or never picked this apart, go out and find an ad, click on it, and and go from there. Okay, so then the next one, UTM content, uh, default plus name, and then they've added an image. It's probably the image on the ad. It's image number one. Um, there's usually source is you know this could say um, it could say Google uh, and and so and you know if you're going from Google from uh, uh, AdWords or, or Google Ads anyway so all these you you can kind of for the most part these are fairly standardized and they've chosen to use um, they put in extra. Um, tags in here to see it just so they can here's image one so they, that way they can go in their analytics and they probably have maybe an, an image two and an image three image four they can go to their analytics and see which image is getting the best uh, maybe the opt-in rate or even sales and the same thing they are just tracking their all their traffic they just add this on to their URL and the and the and the um, and the platforms will uh, like like uh, um, inside of Shopify, it'll accept the, this UT, UTM. And then if you have your Google Analytics set up, you can read all. You can get reports. This very bottom one here is the tag for the the FB FBCLID equals. This whole thing, this is the Facebook. Um, this is the number for the um, the uh, first party cookie, and that's what we're we're going to talk about. First party cookies. This is the tag for the first party cookie. That there's also a um, cookie. Uh, uh, another there's cookie inside there. In fact, we'll take a look right now. Um, See, we went in here. I wonder if this is in Facebook. So I'm just going to open up. I'm going to do an inspect. And I'm going to go up to application and cookies. Okay. And this is, I'm doing this in, in Chrome. So you could, and if you, let me just, if you've never done inspect before, you just you can click on any part of the page, and for for our purposes, I, I can do it anywhere. I'm doing a right mouse click. This is on a on a Windows computer, and I I don't know. I've never seen this person before. I just picked this at, at random. So I'm gonna do right mouse click, and select inspect, and then inside this is in Chrome, and we can go to application, and we go to cookies. And all right, so remember we had the um, so here's all the cookies, and these are all uh, these are all first 
uh, uh, first car, uh, uh, first party cookies um, because they come from the same um, domain. All right, so I'm on this. This see this is, and let's just take another back. I'm I'm almost positive this is using click uh, click funnels. So let's do control. Let me. Yeah, it's on. This is on ClickFunnels, so this is, is going to be a very, very good example uh, that I can show you. All right, so you can see this um, UTM up here, and then I'm going to go into Inspect. Okay, now we're going to look at the cookies. Okay, application cookies, and we'll look down in here. This is the th um, this is really, really cool that something, this is something that um, in ClickFunnels, there's a good thing, I'm going to highlight something that I don't like about ClickFunnels, but they actually make it, they actually kind of give us the, uh, the, the workaround. So there's a good and a bad. So, and I'll show you the problem in just a moment. But what we're going to do, first we're looking at the so we've got you see how there's UTM campaign in here. All right, so this all matches what we just saw in here. And so UTM source, let's look at source. It says FB. Um, UTM medium Facebook desktop feed. Okay. So uh, the fact that these these tags are in cookies it's something that, this is something that that the click funnels does and then i'm going to and then the the content is the same and it ma it all matches okay and we can see some other stuff you know it's it's kind of interesting to see what what's all cookied in here and so we can see like they're running google analytics so here's the facebook first party cookie here's a um uh, uh <laughs> Um, a ClickFunnels cookie, and here's more of this. These most of the ones that start with G are from um, from Google. So, and so we've got the um, let's see nine seven five four. Let's see if that matches nine seven five four. Is that in that number? Okay. Well, let's we'll keep on going. Um, all right. Yeah, there's the the FBCLID, um, and that's right down in here. Um, okay, you can see they're running an app called um, Opt Optimizely, and um, anyway, okay, and you could see the UTM. So. So now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to opt into this. I want to attend and I'll just put some info in here and I'll register. Now, do you see how I go to the next page? There's no more UTM in here. It's gone. And, and uh, products like Google Analytics rely on having at least Google Analytics relies on having that UTM. See the UTM this all of this is gone when we get to this next page. So Google Analytics relies on having that UTM on every page. So, you know, when that they make a sale, it it will um it it can track where the sale came from. Um, however, so you can see it's gone from the URL. It's really important for analytics to have it in the URL. Now we're going to go look at the cookies again and, and let's see what happens. So we're going to do an inspect. We're going to do application and look down here. The UTM is still here in the cookies. Okay, even though it's gone on the URL, it's here in the cookies. So 
so the prob the problem the problem is that the problem is is that uh, ClickFunnels does not pass the tags these tags I'm just going to say this again this is the whole purpose of this what we're talking about all these tags once you go to the next step they disappear you know and so it's gone and so the only way the only place this it, it we're going to find this is is through a cookie and if we want this data to be if we want this data to be in our um, analytics we need to add, make some additional um, configuration so we we need to have analytics not read the the tags on the URL we want them we want analytics to read the tags from the cookie okay so I hope we're all, all here on the same place so our goal is to ha be able to attribute all of our traffic to specific campaigns, ad sets, ad groups, keywords, placements, wh whatever we want. It's important to have this information so we can make good decisions on how, where we spend our, our, our money on uh, t our traffic because you know advertising co you know can be very expensive. We don't want to spend. Uh, we we need to have informed decisions, and the only way we're going to make informed decisions on uh, where we uh, spend more more of our money is we want those where we're going to spend it in places where we can get the most return on our investment. So now the, our challenge is is to get. So by default, analytics will not read these cookies. Okay, because this is something that that um, uh, it's not as from what I've seen so far, it's not a standard thing that happens. This you um, I, I've seen I haven't tried too many platforms, but um, it's thank goodness that um, uh, ClickFunnels does this, and ClickFunnels does this for because ClickFunnels has its own method of doing. Um, uh, attribution of of you know of conversion sales and so forth it, it tracks that it's itself inside of click funnels but we're just we're going to leverage this for analytics so analytics there's it will not read that and so what we're going to do is use uh, tag manager to feed the data we're going to feed this cookie data to analytics via Google Tag Manager. Uh, now, hi I'd highly recommend um, a Google Tag Manager. It's it's a great way to manage all the cookies, not what cookies, but events and pixels, and other. I mean, for every single different advertising platform is going to have its own pixel, like the Facebook pixel, the Google Code. Um, Bing's UET code, uh, U, I think it's UET. Every different an, um, platform has its own code that needs to be put in the right place to track sales. So now we're going to jump in to Google Tag Manager. So um, what we need to do, uh, first place we need to go is into our uh, variables. Okay. So, um, and what we can do in here, just to get a, this is a, um, uh, I have not configured it uh, for this uh, particular funnel. So we're going to do it right now. So there's nothing in here. I, this is a uh, cross domain. Uh, the only two variables I have in here is my Google Analytics code and my link domains, which this is a cross domain setup. Um, okay, so let's just start off in. We'll start off in here. Okay, so this is the Google Analytics settings inside of um, Google Tag Manager. 
So what we're going to do is um, before we actually before we even do this, um, you could see I'm just checking in here to make sure that I haven't configured this. So it's not configured yet. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a and I'm just going to use UTM source medium campaign content. Okay, so here is, we're actually going to be doing these three tags. Okay, so let's start with campaign. And I'm going to copy this. UTM campaign. And I'm in tag manager. And we're going to select down here. Yeah, first party cookie. And we're going to put the cookie name right here. I'm going to give this the same name as well. Okay. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And we're going to do the next one. And we're going to do a new. And first party cookie. Cookie name. Save. And we'll do another one. Keyword. new first party cookie put it in here again medium Do another one. Just copy and paste. Okay. So we have our five cookies in here. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do, now we're going to configure the Google Analytics tag to, to read the first party cookies. All right, so we'll go in here and we're going to add that. I'm going to add a field. We're going to do, let's just start with campaign content. So, yeah, okay, what am I thinking? Okay, campaign content. Okay, first party cookies. Content. Okay, next one. Source. It'll start guessing what we want. source medium me 
medium. Content. We already did content. Keyword. Okay, come on. Keyword. Campaign name. Okay, so we should have five altogether. Uh, content, source medium, keyword, campaign name. And that's it. We we'll just click Save. And that's it. It's This is what it should look like when it's done. Okay. So what will happen is now with these first-party cookie, now Google Analytics is going to, if it can find this UTM content or source, medium, keyword if it sees that in a cookie it's going to take it's going to import it and put it inside of Google Analytics as if it'll do it as if it read it from here so what's really cool about this is that by reading it from the cookie uh, so if you have a website where someone goes to, uh, you know, they opt in and then uh, in ClickFunnels, uh, if you opt in you and you say buy something like you go through, you know, uh, PayPal or a third party payment system <clears throat> that where you leave the, the funnel and then come back, those cookies will stick. So I was just working with a gentleman that is doing this in, um, He's a ClickBank, um, uh, what do you call, uh, you know, a, um, he's a seller on ClickBank. He, he's, he um, has created a, uh, it, it's a program that you buy on ClickBank and he's, a, he's the course creator. And so when, so he uses ClickFunnels, people, people opt in, they watch his presentation, and then when they buy, they buy on ClickBank. And so they, they leave ClickFunnels and then they come back and the UTM is not there. Uh, however, the thank you page is inside the same funnel, the same domain as the opt-in page. So now it, the, he can attribute the sales based on the using the cookie data. And this would ha work with, there's so many other things. So say for example, some you send someone opts into your list and then they uh, and you have an email sequence and then they come back uh, and they click on the you know the page to buy or to take some action inside of uh, click funnels you, st you still have that cookie information it's going to attribute that uh, with that with that um, uh, even coming back from an email so that that cookie information will be there as long as the email doesn't overwrite this then you're all set. Lots of uh, applications for this. And uh, it's just another way of making sure that you attribute your traffic to the right um, to the right thing. Um, OK, so uh, now the, I know there are scripts that will pass these tags through the, um, uh, through through the click funnels however that is this is this would not interfere with that at all um, it this so far from what I've I've uh, so far using this this is just a good backup 
for ha I would just I put it on er you know everything now that has a uh, where I use ClickFunnels. Now the you in order for this to work, you must you uh, I just want to make sure uh, if you're running Google Ads, you do need to have your um, UTM set up in Google Ads because what will also happen in in Google Ads is that if um, if for something ha something happens with a Google cookie, and and then you're sending the traffic to ClickFunnels, there's no UTM tags. The only thing you have is the UTM cookies, okay? Because um, you so you inside of, and let me see if I can get that up here. So I highly recommend having a tracking template in uh, your uh, Google Ads to make sure that. It also sends the the uh, tagged URLs like and I'll, and I'll share this one's kind of um, this one's kind of long. It looks it was going to look like something like this. And. I'll just you can take a look at mine if you want my tracking tag and this is inside of um, my Google Ads account so I've got my campaign the UTM campaign here UTM content which I use for the ad group UTM term keyword uh, UTM source Google and you want to do source Google and uh, medium CPC because that's what uh, analytics expects from Google AdWords. Okay, and the rest of these are non-standard. Um, I just made those up. Um, but yeah, campaign. This is my that you need this. This adds the URL for your ad, for your landing page in Google Ads. So. So this is just a very simple way to, to get this in from the cookie when it would otherwise be lost and just gets all this data into an analytics because if we've got, uh, you know, if you've got thing we want to be able to make good decisions on our ad spend and uh, having, uh, you know, it's one thing, I, I use, you know, I'll go look at my Facebook ads on Facebook and my Bing ads on Bing and my Google ads on on uh, on Google ads, but you know when I'm the first place I look uh, when I'm looking at conversions, um, almost all the inf almost all the information I need is here inside of analytics, and I can very very quickly uh, keep track of my spend and what's going on. All right, that's it. If there's any questions, just uh, let me know. And if there's any other topic you would like me to talk about, um, I have, I mean, I've been doing an Google Analytics since, uh, and Google Ads for since um, 2003 uh, um, is when I opened up my ad account. I've been doing this a long time, and I've dealt with many different difficult situations in trying to get that attribution of all the traffic that we're paying for. I mean, we, we want to track everything we can. Um, uh, can't always get 100%, but as close as we can, the, you know, the more the better. And um, yeah, look forward to uh, doing it. Please, uh, I, I want your feedback. Um, this will really help me to, to make some good content that will help you out. All right, see you on the next one.